Hey there, this is Justin from MakeUseOf.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Asus Chromebook C300. It's at the cheaper end of the Chromebook spectrum at only $189, but because of that, it's not exactly a super high-end device. Out of the box, you'll get the C300 along with a very compact wall charger that would be great for traveling. The Chromebook itself is made of a very fingerprint-prone plastic. It's sturdy and not creaky, but you'll have to be constantly wiping it clean to remove the fingerprints from the faux brushed metal exterior. Along the right side, you'll find a USB 2.0 port along with a Kensington lock slot for securing your Chromebook. The left side houses the charging port, HDMI port, USB 3.0 port, a full-size SD card reader, and the headphone jack. The two speakers are found along the bottom, but they are surprisingly loud. In fact, the C300 has better speakers than most regular laptops out there. As with all Chromebooks, the C300 boots up in seconds and can wake from sleep instantly. Performance generally wasn't an issue unless running more than 8 or so tabs at a time, or occasionally when trying to stream video outside of YouTube. Its 10 hour battery life was pretty true to my real world testing. I found that I was able to use the Chromebook on and off throughout the day using Google Docs, Facebook, and YouTube, and it easily lasted me from morning to night with that kind of medium to heavy usage. The keyboard was a bit annoying at times and sometimes wouldn't register that I was pressing a key. It was well spaced out, it just wasn't all that reliable. The trackpad, on the other hand, was a smooth experience, and it was nice and spacious. The C300 runs on a dual-core Intel Baytrail Celeron processor, which certainly isn't the fastest processor out there, but it got the job done. The $189 model has only 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage, though more expensive versions can upgrade that to 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. At 0.9 inches thick, it's definitely not the thinnest laptop either, but it's light enough at 3 pounds that you can forgive it for that. Its 13.3 inch screen is only 1366 by 768 pixels, which means that it can only handle up to 720p videos, but the screen itself is bright and generally has good viewing angles. The C300 has all the usual quirks of any Chromebook. It can't run intensive Windows apps like Photoshop, and you won't be getting any serious gaming done on it, but for web browsing and working on Google Docs, you can't go wrong. At the end of the day, the Asus C300 is a solid choice of Chromebook, but it is slightly beat out by the Acer Chromebook 13, which costs only $10 more but has a longer battery life, is less prone to fingerprints, and has a sturdier keyboard. The main argument in favor of the C300 is its loudspeakers, but in general, the C300 loses out to its closest competition if only by a hair. Head on over to makeuseof.com to check out the full review and find out how you can win an Asus Chromebook C300 for yourself. 